Welcome back my home cooks and chefs. Today we're going to be making some banana pudding. You guys, you're going to really love and your crowd and everybody and your family going to thank you for it. So let's get into the ingredients. All right, so we're going to get ready to mix up the secret ingredient. So the secret is out the bag. Add uh, one eight ounce of cream cheese and one can of condensed milk. All right, so let's mix this up. And we're going to get into mixing everything together to finish up this banana pudding. Alright, so now that we're mixing up our custard for the filling for the banana pudding, we're going to next make homemade whipped cream. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's get into making homemade whipped cream. So what you first want to do is have two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now you can do this with a hand mixer, but I think this would be a lot faster to do it with, you know, this uh, KitchenAid mixer. Next, you want to have one four cup of powdered sugar, add it in. I'm adding everything in, now you can add it little by little. And last but not least, add in your vanilla abstract, you guys. So that'll be about two, one to two tablespoons of vanilla abstract. Now this is a pure, this is from a good friend of mine. He uh, fixed up for me, so I'm using everything. So thanks Kay, uh, hooking me up. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be ready to Put it on low first. We're gonna have it stir low. And then we're going to uh, turn up the temperature little by little. So we're gonna start off slow. And then we're gonna speed it up. So it's gonna probably take no more than about five to six minutes to put the fluff up. So just keep an eye on it because you don't want to make butter. All right, so see when this is done. All right, so when your whipped cream gets to this point, it's done. Don't whip it too farther, too farther uh, than this because you'll be making butter and you'll be able to sweet butter. So let's get over to assembling the banana pudding. All right, so now that we got everything whipped up and all the ingredients, we got the whipped cream, we got the instant French vanilla pudding, as well as the condensed milk with the secret ingredient of the cream cheese. It's time to start mixing everything into one bowl. So let's get over to making it right now. Let's pour everything in that was mixed. Now this is the condensed milk and the cream cheese. You guys, this is what sets it apart from everybody's banana pudding. You know, everybody been talking about instant pudding and all this other stuff. But hey, at the end of the day, it's a sweet and it's good. So let's get into it. And mix these ingredients. First thing first is I'm gonna fold all this in. Fold everything in. All right. Just mix everything in. Fold it. This makes pretty uh, a lot. So one thing I do like about that is you get pretty uh, a large volume amount of banana pudding out of this whole entire mixture so make sure everything is mixed well all right so let's get ready to fold everything in the rest of the ingredients is the 12 ounces of whipped cream you guys so just put all your whipped cream in yeah, let me see let me save some for the top all right i'll do that put that to the side and just fold it in we always come coming to an end. So let me finish folding this in. This is how you do, just fold it in. You don't want to whip it up too much, but you just want to fold it in. So that's all it is. So let's get ready to fold this in. And we're gonna get ready to assemble it next. All right, so this is all the ingredients that you need. So, you know, you got the banana uh, pudding mix. You got your uh, chopped up bananas. This is one chopped up banana and your mini wafers or checker cookies or even uh, short uh, bread cookies, whatever you like. And we'll get over here to assemble them. All right, so what you wanna do first is layer the bottom with your cookie, shortbread cookies, ban uh, vanilla wafers, however you like. Next, add in your bananas. So just you know, layer it however much. My, I'll put in these little uh, mini cups. Uh, just trying to get ready for this little party, so 
Uh, I got tons to do, so I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys, you know, how to do it. All right, so next, what you want to do is, is I didn't have a piping bag, so what I put put it in is in a, a sandwich bag. And all you gotta do is just cut the end. So that's what I'm about to do. And um, you know, and then we're gonna get ready to start piping every piping it in it. So this is to keep the mess down. First layer. Now, just repeat, what they say, rinse and repeat. To get your uh, vanilla wafers as the next, uh, as a layer level. Layer. Just put it in there however you like. However many, too. I don't put too many. Alrighty. So I'm missing one. And just pipe it again. Pipe it in the center. You can do a swirl, each one. All right. All right. Now you run out, which is cool about this, is you just open up the bag and fill it up again. So I'm fill it up and I'll make the next, next layer. All right, so let's finish it off. So what I'm gonna do is, is add the rest of it in. Instead of doing the van uh, vanilla wafers, I'm gonna put the banana on top, but then the, uh, the wafer's gonna be last. So just add in the rest of them. Spread them out evenly so everybody get an even bite. Top it off with the wafers. Now this is where you know some people like to be creative and start crumbling them up, stuff like that. I'm not gonna do all of that. So we want to make sure we just top it all off. Alrighty, so that's it, you guys. Real simple and easy, like I said. Yeah, uh, this is one of my one, uh, one amazing banana pudding. Let me show it a little closer. All right, you guys, so I told you it's done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I can't wait to uh, serve this up to my clients. This is my wonderful, amazing banana pudding that you will enjoy. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.